installed was Apache and the whole lamp stack. But lamp isn't just part of it. The other big part of it you're going to want to do is you're going to want to install things like Node, Node.js. You may want to do something along Jamstack. You may want to do something else along the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of walk through um, just getting installed Node.js on this bad boy so we know what we got. So what we want to do again, just like anything else, we want to just want to shoot a root and put in the password because you have to be root to install all this stuff, right? So, you know, again, with the other thing I keep on trying to get people to do, app get update, is just make sure everything is always updated all the time, just to make sure your package is updated and refreshed. Um, so you've got all and you know what you need to do, and you know what you got and everything's done. And if you wasted some time doing this, then it's great. It's a good time to waste because you really do want to make sure that your package index is updated and that you've got everything up to date. So here's where Node.js is really um, like super easy to do. Install Node.js npm, all right? And that's it. App get install Node.js. Boom, and that done. Yes, we want to do it. We absolutely want to do this. And then it goes through and does its thing. And it's actually, you know, it does a lot of things in the background. So this is like really, really good. And we're getting all the libraries. We're getting all the other things that go along with it. The cool part too is you also get a little bit of support for, for GitHub, which is good because, you know, GitHub is, is probably a good place to store code um, if you don't have to worry about, about anything on that. Um, and uh, we just kind of go from there, right? So we're almost done, all right, on this one. And once we have that done, we're just going to verify the install. And then we should see what the output is for the version um, that we've got. So we want to go node minus V, just to check and see what version we've got. They're using version 12, 22.5, and that's it. That's it. You've just now installed node.js on your box so again the whole command app get install node.js npm that's it that's all you got to do watch say yes when it says it's ready to go and then just validate that you've got the right version by going node and seeing what version you've got and this is probably one of the easiest videos i've ever made in my entire life but again node is so honk and flexible and really helps you do a lot of things between back end and front end synchronization um, of applications that you're setting up that it's really important that you just have this on your box nine times out of ten, right? So we'll be back um, taking a look at stuff, and I hope to see you again in the next lecture.